folks. I thought I would show you a wonderful trick I found on Google Earth of how you can turn back time. You can get your home on and see what landscape used to look like in the past. Well, up until about 1984 anyway. So we're going to be using Google Earth today. So let's take a look. We're going for these buttons up the top in the toolbar and about halfway along you'll see the rising sun one over the mountain and we're looking for the one just to the left of there. And that's a clock with an arrow, a green arrow turning to the left. Uh, yes, anti-clockwise back in time. So click that and you get a slider with dates and years on it. So all the way to the right, the furthest it's going to give me at the moment is 2020. But if I scroll it back, I actually start to see, oh, back in time, the imagery that Google Earth have captured. And as I turn back, you can see the resolution also starting to get a little less. If I go all the way back to 84 and we're looking at Australia. Fabulous. All right, now I am going to look for a place that I know has seen quite a bit of change in recent times in New South Wales. So let's have a little look and look, mum, no hands. Um, thanks to the wonder of Google Earth, we are zooming into a region called Cadia. Now it's all fuzzed out again because the resolution back in those days was not so great. So I am going to just zoom out until it redraws, oh, which is about there. Now we're sitting in 1984 and so where we are is just south southwest of the town or city of Orange and Mount Canobolis is a great feature in the middle there. Uh, okay so Cadia we're seeing green agricultural pasture lands great place for growing wine and you will see something else too apparently. So let's change time let's go from 1984 let's jump to 1994 and see what happens. 1994 waiting for it to redraw I might just need to zoom out and zoom in again hmm oh there we go 1994 nope still looking the same okay let's jump another 10 years to 2004 oh wait 2003 something's happening oh look at that round about okay 97 99 something changed in little old Cadia Cadia Cardia Hmm. I'm sure someone will correct me. Um, you can see there's some big changes taking place here. And uh, I can't zoom in too much there without it going pixeled on me. So let's go to 2004. Yep, whatever that is, is growing. And if I zoom in closer, you'll start to see some real changes in the landscape and start to get a hunch of what's going on in little old Cadia. Let's go to 2014. Oh, it was a cloudy day that time when the satellite went over. And yes, you were getting a lot sharper resolution there in the image. Let's go in even further and even further. And wow, incredible colors of that sort of aquamarine turquoise looks like a tropical ocean with a reef but this is a different kind of reef going on and those with a sharp eye or who know the region or know about mining will recognize this as the Cadia gold mine so let's go zooming all the way up as far as we can to today and this is what the Cadia gold mine looks like from the latest image now it's saying 2025 so I'm not quite sure how the oh that's interesting now it's saying I'm going up to 2023 but the image is to 2025 I don't um, I don't claim to understand the intricacies of Google Earth and copyright and years that satellite images are taken but now I can zoom so close in and I can see this huge and I'm just going to uh, bring the camera up directly overhead by using the controls up in the top right hand corner and um, yeah so this is 
Vicadia gold mine and I could even go in oh a little bit further I wonder if I can see the people driving in those trucks that is quite amazing but anyway there you go that is how you turn back time in Google Earth and why would that be useful for people who navigate it's a great way to compare it with topographic maps that also have changed over the years as well see changes in the landscape changes in the vegetation changes in land boundaries to help us you know plan and ooh, scratch our chin on some future adventures so hope you found that helpful cheers